What is up killers, Kev here and today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Today we are going to be looking at 5 vampire mods to be added within the game. But without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Lustmid Vampire Armor 7B Refitted is coming in at a beautiful 39 bang on the dot megabytes of a download. Now we've covered very different mods in the channel. Some are very similar to the way of obtaining this particular set too, as you can tell on the screen. Now there's an incredibly small mini quest to pick this one up. Go to the map marker that will be instantly available on your map as soon upon downloading this mod. Once upon in game, you will find it. Set location is here if you want to go and check it out. But this one, all you need to do is head over there, sort of read the note I personally would, get a little bit of a backstory to see what this is all about, learn the spell team that is on on this particular corpse and then you obtain this spell which you can pretty much make a forge and then upon casting you pretty much make all of the goodies that come with this particular mod this is absolutely great obviously if you had any issues there's a massive description as well of how this or should i say or what this is going to be supporting loads of different things as well this actually works a treat for me with all the other different mods i do have on my game it just worked absolutely fine no problems with it whatsoever incredibly small quest for such a beautiful set of armor this definitely is going to be a great one for you guys to download and try i personally really do like this one it's kind of my favorite one so far this week but we've only just started and uh yeah many more to come but this one is great really do love the aspect of you know learning a spell to him picking up the sort of infantry of that one and crafting itself pretty much picking and choosing of that one with a nice little bit of backstory too Doc's Elena Vampire Follower is coming in at 22.9 megabytes of a download. Elena is a former member of the Lord Harkins Court. After traveling around in Skyrim for collecting rare items, she got caught by an ambush by the Imperial Legion near Riverwood. She managed to escape and now is hidden and hiding in the Sleeping Giant Inn, waiting for you to pick her up and take her on your adventures. This one is going to be absolutely easy and accessible to grab. Head over, as I said before, into the the sleeping giants in talk to her and a way you go for this particular one she is going to be a nord vampire it is going to be the using the unp slash 7b body type on this one weight is going to be a hundred location as we said before is pretty accessible with sleeping giant in combat style it's going to be assassin and a vampire mix it's going to be an aggressive stance too the weapon is going to be two dragon bone daggers other things as well include a ton of other different spells guys if you're interested in this one make sure to click the download if not the link and have a little read up personally i thought this uh sort of follow was very interesting a little bit upsetting on the sort of amount of hits she could take as a vampire i would love to see this particular follower maybe turn into a vampire lord that'd be absolutely brilliant maybe a sort of a cross change of that one uh, you know beautiful when calm but once aggravated turns into an absolute killing machine Enable first person for werewolf and vampire lord. This mod author has ported it from the nexusmods.com for all of us to enjoy. This is a simple mod that changes two scripts within the player werewolf and the player change werewolf DLC. Loads of other different jargon and gibberish straight after that to do with this particular one, but it removes the feature of the forced focused on the third person camera, allowing you to go first person within the game itself this works with the werewolf and the vampire absolutely fluently i was actually trying to stress test this to see how far i could actually push this particular mod and no limitations are on this one pretty much go above and beyond obviously in this particular video i am testing out the werewolf as it is i did try the vampire lord to see if it worked fluently and that it did all of the abilities work beautifully as well you can see them visually on screen now and overall i think this is an absolute killer of a mod this is really really good this one is only coming in at 8.4 megabytes of a download for the penultimate spot within the video is going to be true vampire lord coming in incredibly low 7.9 kilobytes of a download this mod simply just revamps the complete master difficulty of enhancing the vampire lord form for this one the vampire lord from looting can now loot bodies which is absolutely great to obviously inspect that if you do not want to rip out of that particular phase the damage scaling is going to be on the claw damage going all the way from level 1 to 41 scaling with their own things drain bolt as well is going to be upped every single 10 levels too i'll give you a quick rundown so for instance level 1 to 10 claw damage is going to be 50 and drain 
starting bolt is going to be 100 and there's obviously five different tiers in corresponding to the level max one being a level 41 plus is going to be claw damage of 50 and drain bolt no sorry claw damage of 500 which is absolutely insane so obviously a 10 crease on that one a 10 times the amount of crease on that one and the drain bolt of 800 which is absolutely insane damage resist of the vampire lord will always have a base armor over the cap of this particular one receiving a full amount of 80 percent plus of the physical damage that is taken from your particular character if you want a full read up where this absolutely changes loads of different perks have been changed through this particular mod as well i personally am going to keep this one it definitely does enhance the physical attributes that the vampire lord should have had within the base game it's an extremely overpowered form and it doesn't portray that with in the vanilla game and this mod definitely ups it to what it actually should be within the base game vampire lord retextured this one is going to be the white hair edition i do believe there's another one currently to date right beside this one and it doesn't change too much and i want it to actually change a lot more i think it was the lighter edition sort of the fair skinned one for me i kind of want that rugged dark evil sinister look obviously we are going to be a vampire lord so we do need that backstory if not that sort of texture to come through and this one definitely does fulfill that one again heavily immersion to do with this one the models meshes and textures are absolutely great for me i kind of feel like an elder vampire lord with this particular retexture it's very nice it's very clean too especially with the white hair overall i think it's really nice this is great this just the description simply reads uh, new textures for vampire lord form with white hair as we said just previously it's a shame that the descriptions are not going to be fleshed out ever so slightly with these particular mods. It's such a shame that it is baffling for that one. And again, as well, especially from a mod author such as a modder 725, which does have a lot of mods on the website that are going to be fleshed out. And uh, unfortunately, the description isn't on this one. But then again, what more can you say to do with this particular mod? It's simply just a retexture. But personally, I think it's very nice indeed. I'm probably going to keep this one again due to this download size. And and for the current state of the game as well kind of want to mix things up and this is definitely a nice new addition to run maybe with the dawn guard dlc but overall as a new vampire lord form retexture so guys that's the end of this episode hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did i would very much appreciate a like on the video click that subscribe button right next as well there is going to be a little bell icon if you click that you will get a notification in some way shape or form when i upload a video to the channel but until the next one guys get a kefir and Gotta get out.